First John chapter 4. I want to read verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because he that feareth, excuse me, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. And we want to use that verse today, and with the help of the Lord, we want to preach about casting out the fear. Casting out the fear. Let's look to the Lord in prayer and ask his blessing. And Reverend Coker so we can pray for us. Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. We thank you for everyone that's here, Lord. We ask you to let a fresh unction rest upon Pastor Pope. Speak to hearts by your word. Father, we also pray for Sheila that you'll uh, help undertake for Sheila and be with her and everyone else and father we'll just give you the thanks in jesus name in jesus amen, amen. amen. it's that time of year yes, sir. it's amazing uh you don't hear about the flu anymore there used to be millions and millions of cases of flu every year now you don't hear about it and people are still getting the flu that's right we just call it something else now get a cold, it's COVID. We get the flu, it's COVID. We get COVID, it's COVID. Okay? It's this time of year, you just got to be mindful. And, I, and I'm and i guilty of it, too. We like to shake people's hands and stuff and greet them and hug them and whatever. But sometimes in the wintertime, you got to back off on that. People are carrying germs around. Okay? And thank God this hasn't happened. Okay. Amen. And so do I. Okay, but anyway, it's good to be here with you in the house of the Lord. Yes, sir. We're glad that you're here. And uh, we're glad to have Diane back with us. We missed her. Amen. Glad to see her a few times. Uh, prayed with her. You know, by not too long ago. And, and she's telling us this morning, she said, I'm going to be 77 years old in February. Yeah. Well, you know what? Okay, she's she's earned some aches and pains. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just kind of comes with the territory when you have an older congregation. Okay, there's some things that you have to deal with. You know that uh, the Lord is a healer. Thank God for that. Amen. But uh, you know, there's going to come a time that we're all going to leave this place one way or another. Yes. Sir. And as we age. Okay, and and uh, you know, things happen. Okay, so be in prayer for those that are not here, those that are sick. Remember them in prayer, and <coughs> you know, look upon people critically. <coughs> okay, but we're not here to do that. Don't blame people because they're sick. Well, if they would do this or that, they wouldn't be sick. Oh, no. that's easy to say when you're not the one that's sick. Yeah, that's right. right. Okay, but we all face things in life. Okay, we just pray for them. Okay. And they're able to, they'll be here. Okay? Talking this morning or preaching this morning about casting out the fear. And we're admonished by the Bible different ways. It's more than different ways. Okay, here we read that we are to cast out fear. Other places we read about casting off things or putting away things or laying aside things. We know that we're to lay aside every weight and sin that so easily beset us. We're to run this race with patience looking unto Jesus. Okay, where there are things that we are to, to get out of our lives. And there are things that we are to let go of. Amen? And God, we can cast all of our care upon him because he cares for us. Well, we are admonished here that we are to cast off or cast out, excuse me, cast out fear. Throw it away. Amen. Get rid of it. Okay, don't let it stay in your life. You don't have to be afraid. Okay, we don't go around being afraid, and, and uh, we understand that we face things and that we have an enemy, but He is not greater than our Savior. Okay, our God is greater than the, the enemy. He's greater than any obstacle, any situation that we face, brother and sister. Thank God. We can remember the admonitions of the Word of God. Greater is He that is in me. 
than he that is in the world. The thief came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and we might have it more abundantly. Amen. You know, the Amen. apostles came back to the Lord and they were amazed that they were, had power to cast out devils and to heal people. Jesus wasn't amazed. Okay? He, he knew that they would be able to do that. And he let them know about something. He said, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. Okay? He was cast down so fast and so hard, it was like a lightning bolt hitting the ground. Brother and sister, he may, he may roar, and he may go about around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But if I'm in the Lord and the Lord is in me, he can't devour me because he's got to come through Jesus. And he's already lost that battle, brother and sister, any time that he's tried it. We are to cast out fear. You know, he was talking about Thomas Edison, and there's another, uh, and I don't know if this is a quote, if this really was said, but it is said about him, okay? Now, he had a lot of failures in endeavoring to invent the light bulb, okay? Now, we've all had failures in our life. Anybody here ever had a failure? Yeah. Amen. 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 Okay? Amen. But we're in this building today, and the lights are on, aren't they? Yeah. Because he persisted. He didn't yes. give up. He kept trying. And he had a right attitude about it. Okay? Well, he had a failure. Man, man Mr. Edison, that's like about a thousand times. Uh, that, you know, so many times that you've failed. Well, at least I, I know a thousand ways not to make a light bulb. That's right. Okay, well, if we have a failure, at least we, we learn, brother and sister, not to do that. Amen. Okay, no, that doesn't work. That's not what I need to do. Let me find out from God and from the word of God what he wants me to do. And let me begin to apply that in my life. And thank God, when we do, brother and sister, the lights can come on. Amen. God can help us, brother and sister. He can absolutely, absolutely help you and I. We do not have to be afraid. There's another. This is an actual quote, okay, that, that is pretty famous. You, you're familiar with it, I'm sure. It says, uh, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. I believe this was Franklin Delano Roosevelt during his inauguration in 1933, okay, during the worst part of the Depression. It was not an easy time for the nation. It wasn't an easy time for those who, who had been elected to, to lead the nation. People were afraid, and there's something about fear. Fear causes people to freeze, and it causes them to be unwilling to act. Yes. To just accept situations and circumstances. And my mind goes to Joshua and Caleb and the other ten spies. Ten of them yes. were afraid. Right. And yes. because they were afraid, they were afraid, they conveyed that fear to the children of Israel. And they all became afraid. Right. And they were unwilling to act. They were unwilling to stand on the promises of God, on what God had told them. Brother and sister, and because of that, they had to stay out there in that wilderness a lot longer than was necessary. Right. If they would have believed God, if they would have had faith and not fear, they could have went in earlier yes. and yes. possessed the land. Right. They could have been like Joshua and Caleb, and they could have seen victory in their lives. Fear causes people to, to freeze and to be unwilling to act, to try to do something about their situation. Well, I'm afraid. What if it doesn't work? Well, you know what? If what you're doing isn't working, you've got nothing to lose. Right. Amen. Well, what if I trust God and, and God lets me down? God's never going to let you down. Amen. He does not fail. Amen. Are you here? Amen. On the contrary, he can do more than you can even think or imagine if you will have faith in him. We don't have to be Amen. paralyzed, brother and sister. Thank God God can help us. You know, we, I guess there's a natural tendency to be afraid of change, but change can be good. There's Amen. some good change that God wants to make in our lives. God wants to help us, brother and sister, to live like we've never lived before, to absolutely re reach new heights, in God, here we are, already a week into 2024. Okay? Well, brother and sister, we still got 
uh, a whole bunch of weeks ahead of us, Amen. a whole bunch of days ahead of us. Amen. Let's not got, get ourselves back down into a rut and into a comfort zone where I don't want to step out because I might fail. We'll go ahead and step out because with the help of the Lord, you can succeed. Amen. You can succeed. You can do it, my friend. Thank God. God can help us. Brother and sister, because things can change. Jesus came to make a change in our lives. Fear is not of God. The Bible tells us, John wrote to us again, okay? He wrote to us and he told us a very uh, uh, simple definition of God there in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 16. And we know and have believed the love of God. Are you here? Amen. Do you know the love of God? Yes. If you're saved, you know the love of God, my friend. Yes. Do you believe? Have you believed on the love of God? Thank God we can believe on the love that God has to us. Amen. Come on now. He doesn't, he doesn't want you to be afraid, my friend. He wants you to realize that he loves you. Yes. He is for you. Amen. He Amen. wants to help you. Amen. He is greater than anything and anyone, <laughs> brother and sister. He, we, we have known and believed the, the love that God had to us. God is love. There it is. There's our definition. Define to me, Christian, what, what is this God that you're talking about? God is love. Yes. Our God is love. And he that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God, and God in him. I'm thankful, brother and sister, we're no longer under the wrath of God. We're no longer separated from God. We're no longer alienated from God. But brother and sister, we dwell in the love of Almighty God. Amen. We dwell in the love of God, brother and sister, and God dwells in us. Thank God. We don't have to be afraid, brother and sister. We don't have to have to fear that. You hear Jesus saying that all the time. Go read the Gospels. Go read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He'd come up on people, and he'd, he'd uh, come to do what? To have compassion on them, to meet their need, to forgive their sin, to heal them, to raise their, their dead, whatever that it was that they needed done. Okay, And he many times would say things like, be not afraid. Be not afraid. Don't be afraid. He's telling you and I the same thing, brother and sister. Don't be afraid. Fear, brother and sister, is not of God. God is love. Yes, we reverence God. We understand that. We have a godly reverence, brother and sister. Just like I think about, I think about my dad. You know, I, have a, I had a very good dad there. It was, it was, you know, not that everything was always perfect and there was never a problem. Whose life is like that? Uh -huh. right, exactly. No sister, but he was there and he tried to teach me right and he took care of us. And I knew that he loved me. But I also knew, I had a, had a fear of dad. I also knew if I do wrong, <laughs> and dad finds out about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, I read something today. It said I'm from, I'm from back in the past where we got spankings. We drank out of the hose bed. We didn't have bike helmets. Uh, we we played on rusty playground equipment. Yeah. Well. There was lead in our paint. Yes. We're still here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, he he. I knew that he loved me, and he would correct us when we were wrong. But it helped us as we got older. Yes. If I was wrong. I was afraid of getting in trouble, but I knew that my father loved me. Well, brother and sister, we reverence God. We we have a healthy, we have a healthy fear that if we're wrong, whom the Lord loves, he chastens, but he's still our father and he loves us. Amen. Amen. You know, the thing to do is not to do like when we were kids, well, I just won't get caught. <laughs> so it's just let's endeavor to do right. We don't have to worry about it. Okay? <laughs> Let's endeavor and thank God when we love God, brother and sister, God helps us to obey him. We read about Jesus telling people not to be afraid. And thank God we don't have to be afraid. When we read, brother and sister, that we can read that love casts 
without you. Okay, we go on here in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 17. And herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Brothers and sisters, we love him because he first loved us. Well, let's mature in our love for God. Let's grow up, brother and sister, and let's realize, you know, when we were kids, we didn't understand what dad was doing all the time. Right. And we just didn't like getting in trouble sometimes. Mm -hmm. But now that we're all adults, I hear it all the time from my brothers and sisters, I'm glad dad and mom were the way that they were. Yeah. It helped us. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that I have a heavenly father that loves me. Amen. Come on now. I'm glad that he loves me. I'm glad that when I need him, he corrects me. But I don't have to be afraid. He's not trying to hurt me. He's trying to make me better. Amen. He's trying to help me to succeed and to get over the failures that I have had in my life. Because Amen. God wants you to succeed. Amen. Are you here? Amen. Amen. Oh, well, Pastor, you're talking about my bank account. You're talking about this. Hey. I'm most most important thing, God wants you to succeed in your relationship with him. He wants you to make it to heaven, brother and sister. Amen. And you can. You can. Amen. You know, we can read about Peter. And we read about him in Matthew chapter 14. We, all, we, we read about him there and how Jesus told him, just like he tells you and I. Okay, it's a little example of what, of us in living this life. We, we uh, came to him. Okay, he found us. We stopped running and hiding. Right. Okay, and he found us, brother and sister, and he saved us. And he's he's with us, brother and sister. And just like them, he tells you and I, we are going over to the other side. Yeah. Amen. Come on, church. Yeah. We're on our way. Yeah. We've already started the journey. We've already got in the boat with Jesus. Amen. Yeah. We don't have to be afraid, brother and sister, okay? We don't have to be afraid. I might get in a couple of things mixed up here, but anyway, okay? Right, Jesus yeah. came walking to him on the water, right. and he said unto him, Lord, if it be, Peter said unto him, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water, okay? And uh, Jesus told him to come, and he said, come. Jesus wants you to walk with him. Oh, thank Come on now. Lord. Jesus wants you to be like him. Amen. You know, the Bible tells us about the Lord that he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. That's right. But he made himself of no reputation and he humbled himself. He wasn't doing wrong by being like God the Father. He is the express image of him. That's right. Are you here? Amen. You're not doing wrong. It's not pride. You try to be godly. You try to be like Jesus. That's what God created you for. Yeah. Amen. Don't be afraid. Don't get caught up in this false humility. I have to be unhappy, and I have to whip myself and beat myself, and I have to suffer. Brother and sister, Jesus come on a cross and suffered for you and I. Amen. He bore our shame. He bore our pain. He bore our illness, brother and sister. By his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Amen. He wants you to have abundant life. Yes. Come on now. Mm -hmm. All right. Pastor, what about the Bible talking about being poor? Talking about having a, a meek spirit, a poor and a, and a, and a meekly spirit, brother and yeah. sister. Okay? About us not, you know, I, I, I didn't save myself. Neither did you. Okay? But God saved you. Yes. Yeah. And you're saved. I didn't make myself a child of God, but I'm a child of God. Yeah, amen. Amen. And I'm going to give glory to God for doing it. Mm -hmm. He's the one that did it. Yeah. But it doesn't make me less of a child of God. Right. You are what you are. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed of it. Right. No. Come on now. Yeah. All right. Just take your place and your position in God as his child. Okay? You have children, right? Most of you, some of you. Okay? You got children. They're your children. 
Okay. Well, they didn't bring themselves into the world. That's the that the parents tell you. Okay. I brought you in this world, boy. I'll take you out. <laughs> we didn't bring ourselves into this world, did we? No. It doesn't. It doesn't make us any less a child of our parents. Right. I didn't save myself. Jesus saved me. It's not. But he saved me. Yeah. And I must be worth something to him for him being willing to die and go to hell for me because that's exactly what he did. And I don't have to be afraid, my friend. I can have confidence. I can be bold. Amen? I can come boldly under the throne of grace and find grace to help in a time of need. Peter saw the Lord walking on the water. And he was afraid, brother and sister. He said, if it's you, okay, let me come to you. Jesus said, come. And he started walking. And he was walking in the same storm. He was walking upon the same waves that Jesus was. It wasn't until he began to get his eyes back on the problem that he began to sink. Let's stop glorifying the devil and his problems and our problems. Are you here? All right now. And let's glorify the Lord Jesus. Amen. We love you. God loves you. But you know what? I don't want to focus on what the devil's doing. I want to focus on what Jesus is doing. Amen. Because he is greater. And I'm with him. Yes, and you're with him. Yes, okay? Right. We know who are. Hey, we read, as they say, we read the end of the book. Somebody said, did you see the passion of the cross? I said, no, I read the book. <laughs> <laughs> I read the book. All right. Go to the end. Amen. Huh? <laughs> Before we were ever created, Jesus saw him fall as lightning. Yeah. That's right. Go to the end of the book. Now, Jesus doesn't even get up off his throne. Right. Ah. He gets a strong angel. Now, he don't even waste his time standing up. Right. He commands an angel to take the, the devil and cast him into the lake of fire. Right. Wow. Yes. He he started out, he started out this thing, him casting the devil out. Yeah. We're gonna end up this thing, him casting the devil right. out and down. Yeah. Well, brother and sister, we got some casting to do. Let's cast out fear out of our lives. Let's let God help us, brother and sister, to be strong, to be bold, to have confidence. It's going to be all right. Yes, sir. Huh? Well, I'm getting old, Pastor, and I think I'm going to die. Well, guess what? We all We're all getting old, and if the rapture doesn't play, take place, we are going to die. Amen. You don't have to be afraid of it. Right. That's right. Huh? When it's your time to go, ain't no doctor... Or anybody else, if God wants to take you home, it's time to go, brother and sister. It's time to go. Right. Why do you want to hold on to this sorry place? That's right. Huh? Don't be afraid. He's already got a place prepared for you. Yes. He went to prepare it because where he is, he wants you to be there also. Oh, All right. And one of these days we're going to go. Amen. Okay, so don't be afraid. Okay, now, we pray for you. We don't want people to suffer and all of that kind of stuff. You know, and Sister Kepler told me, she's, it was my birthday. We were up in Glendale. She said, hey, happy birthday, birthday boy. She said, it's not as fun as it used to be, is it? <laughs> you get presents you didn't count on. <laughs> oh, why did my knee hurt? I don't even know what it did. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, okay. That's okay. It just comes with the territory. Yes, yeah. sir. Just smile and drive on. You're going to lay that old body down one of these days. That's yes, right. And when the rapture takes place, you're going to have a new one, my friend. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And it's not going to be sick. Okay? It's not going to be, you ain't going to have no, you ain't gonna, the only doctor you're going to go see is Jesus. We're going to go see Dr. Jesus. Uh, amen. amen. That's it. Okay, we're going to be whole, brother and sister. Peter was afraid. He got his eyes off the Lord. But you know what? He had enough sense, brother and sister, when he realized, man, I got my eyes off the Lord. I got my eyes on the, on the problem. I'm looking at what the storm and what the enemy's doing instead of looking at what the Lord's doing. 
But he had enough sense, and we can too. He said, Lord, save me. Amen. And immediately, Jesus reached down and picked him up, and they were in the ship, and they went to the other side, just like Jesus said. Yes, Amen? Amen. Well, we may find ourselves focused on the wrong thing, brother and sister. Stop being afraid. Call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Let Jesus lift you up. Brother and sister, Jesus has not given us, as he wrote to Timothy, a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. That's what he has done for you and I. He has given us, brother and sister, his love. Thank God, brother and sister, we can look to him. We can have faith. We can trust, brother and sister. We can cast out the fear. Thank God, he tells us in John chapter 14, in verse 1, listen to what he said. We've shared it before. You know it. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Not a let it be afraid. Come on now. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Amen. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Don't let your heart be troubled. Thank you, Lord. Thank God, brother and sister, we don't have to be afraid. Thank God, brother and sister, we don't have to be confused. We know who in whom we have believed. I like that. Paul, Paul spoke and he said, I know in whom I have. He said, none of these things move me. Come on now. So, so what I'm going to do, don't y'all worry about me. Don't worry about what I'm going through. He's telling that church, don't be tripping about it. I'm not tripping about it. Uh, none of these things move. What are y'all tripping for? I ain't going nowhere but to heaven. Huh? None of these things move me. I know whom, whom I have believed. And I am persuaded he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. We believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We've committed our lives, our very souls unto him. He's able to keep us, brother and sister, all the way to the end. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know why? Because he's the beginning and he's the end. Yeah. Huh? He's the author and the finisher. Yeah. He started it. He's going to finish it. He that began a good work in you. Right. Huh? Yeah. You didn't find him. He started a work in your life. He began a work in your life. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's able to perform it all the way to the end. Yes, sir. Yes, and he will. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Listen to what he said in John chapter 14. Okay? Thank you, God. Thank you. I'm getting ready to close. We're going to end up with this. We got a reason for a sister to have confidence, yes. to be happy, not to be afraid, to be strong in God and the power of his might. Listen to what he said. Peace. I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. For and sister, God's peace is not dependent upon situations, circumstances, problems, whether we have them or we don't. It's dependent on him. And he never changes. And he never will. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He's going to go with you always. And therefore, let's finish the verse, John 14 and 27. Okay? Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. This afternoon, as we bow our heads and we close our eyes in reverence to the Lord, friend, God is still in control. He always has been. He always will be. Don't be afraid. Cast out that fear. Rest in Jesus. She begins to sing. We come and we begin to find a place to pray. God bless you this afternoon is our prayer.